Hello, excitement in the air, and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's Argentina against Denmark. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Thomas Delaney plays alongside Pierre Emil Heubier in central midfield. And Yusuf Paulsen is up front. Well, one of our favourite games at the last World Cup was France against Argentina in the round of 16. Sadly, from an Argentinian point of view, they went down 4-3 to the eventual winners. Will it be more of the same this time, or can Argentina get it right? I'm not so sure, because I think Argentina are a better side this time round. I think they can play two different styles of football. They can defend deeply and then play on the counter-attack. They've got a bit of pace in the front areas but they can also take the game to the opposition. They've got such quality in those front areas. So this is a much better Argentinian team. I think they will go through. And offside by a very small margin. Alvarez. Marcos Acuna. He read the situation defensively and did his job. This might have potential. To jump in front. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Jens Strieger Larsen. Throw in for Denmark. Heubier. And the attack looks promising. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Molina Oh no stop again A glorious chance He knew he had to make the tackle And did Ericsson Struggling to keep the ball. Might be onto something with that ball. Alvarez. Perfect challenge. And making headway. The outcome is a goal kick here. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. McAllister. Here's Alvarez. The cross is on. And he's clear his lines. Alexis McAllister. Just the challenge that was required. Delaney oh he looks threatening defensive Brazilians to shut them down Messi crossing possibilities 
Real chance. No way through. Messi. Just cutting off the supply. Paulson. And support available. A disappointing end to the move. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner. But now the free kick has to be awarded. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Oh, big chance! Can they put it away? And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Number 20, Alexis McAllister. Alvarez. Now with Messi. Marcos Acuna. De Paul. This looks threatening. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? And the keeper able to hold on to it. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Molina and a chance for him on the flank really vital interception here Ericsson and strong play here well possibilities in the centre Possession lost. Bad pass. Delaney. Powerson. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Alvarez. Denmark giving it away. And he has options available. Messi!
Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. So back underway at 3-1. Excellent defending. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it's so true. For once, they find themselves in defensive mode. Just the challenge that was required. Could be a chance to break here. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the substitution will occur now. Now, looking dangerous here. Can he make it count? And a goal! A running riot here, almost out of sight! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Kea. Robert Scoff lost possession. Gonzalo Montiel. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Oh, great attacking play. Getting in there to intercept. Can he take advantage? The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. So the current scoreline, couldn't keep possession a quarter of an hour remaining here and a creative look about this and he might be through here oh no couldn't beat the goalkeeper De Paul They've given it away. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Read it superbly to take back possession. Ericsson. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Jens Striger Larsen. Rebier. And the keeper got there. And a double substitution it's going to be. And now the delivery. 
outrageously good piece of defending on the line no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper moving forward effectively and crossed in there high degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that and it was close well his skill level is so high you're absolutely right that's a great effort on the volley De Paul. well he's got plenty of space on the flank here can he put it away and the keeper did magnificently well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that And short it is. And he takes it on. Keeper had work to do. And another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Elects to go short. Has a go. Well, the post got in the way. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And there we have it. The referee brings this game to an end. Argentina have made it through to the last eight. Well, that was an excellent game, and they were brilliant going forward. They really were. But they were slow to react when they lost possession, and that's something they need to improve upon in the next round. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.